the Clash Blaster, one of the most annoying weapons to go up against. You're running around minding your own business when out of nowhere comes a barrage of quick explosions that trap you in your place. Before you know it, your inkling has become one of the explosions. The only way to retaliate? Become one of them, of course. The Clash is a short-range high-speed blaster. You can pop out a ton of ink relatively quickly, hopefully aimed at the opposing team. The Clash almost seems like cheating. All it takes is two direct hits to spot someone. Each direct hit to an opponent does 60 damage. Non-direct hits do 30 points of damage, which means four non-direct hits will splat the other team or one direct hit and a couple non-direct hits. As someone who maybe isn't always the best at aiming, this is a lifesaver. The Clash has a nice wide range of explosion power. This means, one, you don't have to aim perfectly, though if you do, you get splats a lot quicker, and two, you can shoot around corners and still be effective to your team. My favorite place to do this is around the tower and tower control. If there's an enemy on the other side trying to sneak their way around, you can just shoot in the general direction of the other player and hope that it hits them, all the while protecting yourself behind the walls of the tower, or even around the corner of a stage or a pillow. My favorite types of gameplay? Hide and splat. Definitely not the competitive way to do things, but I'm a little casually over here. The Clash isn't a perfect weapon by any means. Though it does have a high fire rate and pretty nice splat power, this thing is extremely close range, meaning if you have a charger aiming at your face, you're pretty helpless. But what did we say to the god of death? Not today. The best part of hide and splat is being a sneaky son of a gun. That charger may seem impossible to hit from far away, but if you do a little sneaky swimming and position yourself where said charger is in your weapon's fire range, boy oh boy do you have control. Your blaster explosions will most likely ink their feet, stopping them from running away. If they are moving away, you'll have to rely on your aim since they'll be quickly out of your blaster's ink range, which will allow them to turn around and shoot you right in the face. There's not much you can do about that except Except try to run away. Being mobile with the Clash Blaster is super important. You'll want to get away from the long range guns, and you'll also want the upper hand on the other shorter range weapons, like the Sploosh, who can splat you quickly if you get too close. While you have a high fire rate, there are other weapons that can shoot a bit quicker than you. In short, the Clash is a fun weapon to run around with. It might take some getting used to, but once you're used to it, man oh man, is it satisfying. This sucker got me all the way up to S plus in solo queue. I don't know what I would have done without it. It's a good weapon, no matter what the internet says.